Melissa. Hi. How are you? I'm doing okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's been about a week mm-hmm. um, since I saw you. Can you, is there any new developments, any new, how, how's your week been? Um, it hasn't been very good. I actually, um, I got let go from my job. Um, I don't know if you remember, I, had, I was working part-time at this, um, like, doctor's office kind of place, and um, I, like, came in late a few times, and so they, like, found someone else, I guess, and they, like, wrote me up, and, um, I mean, it's gone on over the past couple of weeks, but um, they just let me go, so I am, like, looking for a new job, and not really sure what's going to happen there. How did that feel? Um, honestly, it was, like, kind of crappy, but at the same time, I didn't really like it that much, you know, so I, like, didn't feel like going in, so that's what I just, I usually would just, like, not want to wake up in the mornings, and so, I, like, whenever I got up, I'd kind of just go in whenever, so, um, yeah, I was kind of, I really, I mean, I need to get something to help my sister pay the rent and all that, but. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know what that's going to be. Okay. Um, have you, how is your sister with, like, how, how are you guys? Because I know you say you guys were close. Yeah. And she's, like, um, I the mean, person you have, is that yeah. still? Yeah, things are still pretty good. I mean, she, like, understands, um, but she just, like, keeps telling me, like, to go out and find something else so I can contribute, like the expenses and everything but I mean she like gets it and she um she's been like pretty understanding about it she just has kind of been like where'd you go apply to today you know every time that I see her well, supportive but also yeah encouraging. trying to kind of push me gotcha. yeah okay okay and is that does that work for you is that okay how does that feel? um it doesn't like make me want to do anything more if anything it's kind of like the more she brings it up the more I don't want to talk about it or deal with it, you know, so I'll like just tell her that I'm working on it kind of thing and then kind of <laughs> try to talk about something else or, you know, because I just don't really want to deal with that right now. Okay. Yeah. Is that, um, is that like a pretty normal response for you where if someone talks more about something or brings something up? that you tend to be more resistant? Because that's what I heard you say, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but is that a, a pretty normal response for you? Um, I've never really thought about it. Um, but I guess it's like, to me, it's kind of like, get off my back, you know? Like, it's not really your business. I, rec- I know that I messed up, so, like, pushing me to do that isn't going to, change anything I mean if you want to like help me get a job or give me a job where you work cool but if you're just going to be hassling me about it that's not going to help anything you know right so for this situation yeah but uh, taking this with your sister aside Mm -hmm. do you find that your normal reaction maybe with your ex-husband or you know going back Mm-hmm. with some friends or um, you know maybe with your parents growing up was that a normal reaction for you to uh, when people bring things up you get very from from what I'm hearing very um, resistant to it like hey I got this you know I don't I don't need you hassling me about whatever it is well, I mean, like, even with the, the divorce thing, I think I told you that how disappointed my parents are, and that's all I hear from them, so it's the same thing. It's like, if you're just going to tell me how disappointed you are, I know, you know, it's like, <laughs> enough already, you know? So, like, to me, I guess that's kind of just, I, I, like, get that it's, I messed up, and I get that it's over, and I ruined everything, and blah, 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 but, like, can we move on? You know, it just mm-hmm. feels like, I feel like it forces me to like keep beating myself up over and over and over. And I do enough of that. And I feel like I already try to forget about it. And then that's all I can think about anyways. So it just feels like this endless cycle, you know? Okay. Well, something you said um, that I quote you, okay. I 
ruined everything. Can we talk about that a little bit? Okay. Um, what what is what is everything that you ruined that you feel like? Well, like the marriage and everything. I mean, I know it wasn't. It's not like I was perfect or anything like that. And I know it's um, like both of us signed the paperwork and whatever. But um, I guess like to me, it was disappointing all the people in my life, including myself. It was like that I ruined this marriage, you know? And I feel like people are like blaming me for that, for like not having a successful marriage. Do you believe, so I'm hearing you say that you ruined the marriage, that it was, you're putting a lot on yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Um, do you feel like this is just on you, that 100%, the deterioration of the marriage falls 100% on you? No, not 100% on me, but I mean, I still feel like, I don't know, I feel like I should have done things different. I don't. Um, it's kind of like, it was my marriage and it failed. So that is on me, you know, and I, I know that it's like a partnership, but I, it's still a failure for both of us, you know, mm -hmm. and now I have to live with that forever and tell everyone I'm divorced. Okay. And, and that not a good thing for you to tell everyone you're divorced is there what when you say now i have to tell everyone i'm divorced what feelings come up for you with that um to me it's like this i don't want to talk about that either it's i mean it's just being a failure right like that i couldn't make it work or i mean we looked like we were happy and then we weren't you know and now that's over and like who would ever want to like be around like date me ever again like it's no, no one wants to marry someone who's been divorced or date someone who's been divorced you can't make it work you know so what i'm hearing you say is now that you've been divorced you feel like um you're not worthy of uh, finding someone else not um I don't know about that, it's just like, I feel like it's not like desirable, you know, like, it's like someone who's like damaged, you know, damaged goods, got the baggage, here it is, you know. Okay. So what I want to do today is, um, thank you for sharing all of that with me. And so with those things in mind, if, if you're okay with it, what I want to do is go a little bit back in time um, and focus on your childhood. So I want to know, let's put the the Melissa of today aside for a second. And I want to I want to see like how how Melissa got here. Okay? So where we started, you know, back as a, as Melissa as a child. Like that's where I want to go. Yeah. Before we move and get here right now. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Does that do you have any questions? Does that make sense? Uh I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And stop me at any point, ask any questions, you know, just whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? Okay. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so tell me, tell me about your upbringing. Tell me about your, um, your parents, they're married now still, you say, mm -hmm. right? So tell me about that. Tell me about, you grew up Catholic, mm -hmm. very religious, sounds like it was a very big part of your life yeah. growing up. So, Tell me about Melissa as a little girl. What did that look like? How was the house? Like, like, um, did you guys eat dinner together? Mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, I mean, things like that. Yeah, we would eat dinner together. Um, we went to church every Sunday. Um, we went to a Catholic. My sister and I went to a Catholic school, and um, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like. My mom would cook the meals and my dad like worked and we did our chores and we did our homework and um, I don't know, we didn't like take many trips or anything or like do a whole lot other than just like 
yeah, at home together a lot of the times. You know. So dad worked, mom worked, didn't work. No, she didn't work. She um, would like either be at home with us or she was like cleaning the house or like preparing meals and things like that. And, so she worked in the home. Yeah. Took care of you yeah. guys, yeah. which in no way is a small job. Yeah. But I just, okay. So she worked yeah. in, the, in the home. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about your sister? How were you guys close growing up? Uh, yeah, we were always pretty close. I mean, um, sisters will always like fight about stuff, but like, um, I'm sure like I was the annoying little sister who just like wanted to tag along, but we would like play together. We didn't really have anyone else and um, we didn't get to like hang out with friends or like do a whole lot um, other than that. So like we were kind of, we were like, I guess as close as sisters would be, you know. So you didn't get to hang out with friends a lot. You mean like play dates or what were there? Um, I don't remember as much like when we were little, um, but I just meant like, um, like we weren't allowed to go to school events, like we weren't allowed to like participate, like do sports or clubs or like join band or anything like that. Um, cause my parents like didn't think that that was like an important thing. So we like didn't really see, um, I didn't get to like go hang out at the mall with people because they didn't want be doing something bad or something like that you know so we just it was kind of like just us and we would like work on our schoolwork and whatever at home gotcha. and what did that feel like i mean i was always like jealous because some of my friends had like really really laid back parents who would like let them stay up and eat whatever they wanted and like stay up late watching movies and doing like normal kid stuff and so i always like it kind of it sucked, but like, you know, now I'm out of the house, so I can do whatever I want now. Yeah. Um, tell me about your dad. Well, were you guys close? What about your relationship with your father? Um, what do you want to know? I mean, he's my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really know what you mean by close. Like, I would see him when he was home from work and we didn't like do anything together. So. Was there, um, like were you excited when you saw him? Was there like, hi dad, or, or was there affection? Did you guys like hang out, do, do anything together? I mean, I know, you, I know you said you guys didn't, like he would come home, you yeah. would see him, but I mean, did, did you guys do anything like maybe if he was mowing the grass, you were out there, you know, raking the grass that fell everywhere. I mean, was there any sort of anything like that? Um, I mean, we didn't really like. I guess we spent time together, but it was it was usually like us playing quietly while he was like reading or doing whatever he was doing. It wasn't really like things together, you know. It was kind of just like he was just physically there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about your mom? Um, it was the same, I mean, the same kind of thing, she, like, it's, they would just, we would kind of play on our own, or, like, do our own thing, and then when we were too loud, they would yell at us to be quiet, or, you know, um, they were just kind of, like, doing their own things, and we were kind of doing our own things, I guess, but, like, my mom would make dinner for us, and we'd eat it together, but we know we weren't allowed to talk at the dinner table, so it's not like it was an exciting time, you know? You were not allowed to talk at all? Like, no, none of you were, or just the kids? Just the kids. Okay, so your mom and dad held yeah. conversation, you and your sister yeah. were quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened if you did talk? Um, we would either be like, I mean, they'd usually warn us or something, but if we were like being too annoying, they would like either send us to our room um, or like, that was usually it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Were you allowed to finish dinner and then went to your room, or where where you were at? You could talk about. I think it kind of like depended on what kind of mood they were in. It was kind of like sometimes we could get away with a little bit more, and other times they would just send us up. You know. Um, did you ever go to bed hungry? Um, probably. I don't really. I mean, I 
mean, I thought that was kind of just like normal, but we would, like, it's not like I didn't go days without eating or something sure. like that. Sure, sure, but, sure. You know, it's just kind of how they were, and it was their house, so we had to like kind of go by their rules and everything. So, so something you mentioned a little bit earlier was that you know you, sisters fight, and so you and your sister, I'm sure, like you know yeah. the normal sibling, you yeah. know. How did your parents handle that if, um, when you guys fought or screamed or however that played out? Yeah, we would, I mean, like if we would fight over like a toy or something like that, they would just yell at us or take the toy away. So it wasn't so much like, um, I mean, we would like fight, but they would usually just like, again, tell us to go to our rooms or like take away the toy or um, I don't know, a lot of like separating us, I guess. Okay. How long do you think it would be to separate us? Usually, um, or I mean, you know, I know this is a long time. I know I'm yeah, asking you to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You know, and some of it's pretty specific. But do you remember on average, like, would it be like a whole day? Would it be just until you calm down? Like, um, it was usually like till dinner time or something okay. like that. So, like, from what I remember, I think it would be like for the rest of the afternoon or something like that. Uh, my mom, that's what like my mom would do. My dad like would sometimes like spank us or something like that. But like I think all that kind of that, you know. So okay. okay, so let's talk about that. Um, can you can you tell me what that means? All that he spanked you. What what does the spanking look like? Um, he would just like hit us on our butt with his hand, kind of thing. Okay. Was it always with his hand? Did he ever use anything else? No, it was just his hand. Just his hand. Yeah. Okay. Did it ever leave any marks or bruises? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it hurt a lot as a kid, but like, <laughs> you might have shut up, right? <laughs> you know. So, um, but like, I I know some other like I know some of my other friends like their parents did that. So like, I think that's just like he's just being a dad, you know. Or if we were like doing something we shouldn't be or too loud or whatever. Um, like you do that and we would go to our rooms again you know was anything said while the spanking was going on or anything you could remember um I don't really remember so much I think he would just kind of like yell at us for whatever we were doing and so that's kind of all I remember okay and what was your mom doing during this time um I don't, know, I don't think she was usually there. I think she was probably in some other room doing something else. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, what about family, um, like holidays? So I know you said you weren't, you, you and your sister weren't allowed to do like school activities or any extracurricular type thing. Well, how did, well, how did holidays um, play out in your family? Was it like a big thing? Do you, do you have lots of aunts, uncles, cousins? Uh, no, my. Um, my mom doesn't like keep in touch with any of her family, um, and then my dad, um, we would like go over to his, my like, grandparents' house, um, but he doesn't have any siblings, so it would be kind of like, we would see grandma and grandpa, but they were like even more strict than my mom and so, like my parents, you know, so it was just kind of like, it wasn't really fun there or anything like that, it was just like, we would go have dinner at their house or, um, yeah, I don't really like have a ton of memories about them so much. You didn't see them very often, or no? We would see them like once a year for, for like Christmas. Did they um, live far? Oh uh, no, they were big. They were like um, hours away or something oh, okay. like that. Yeah, they weren't really. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So um, the reason I was asking is just to get a better understanding of um, kind of like where you you know like sometimes we you know we have these like ideas or um, um, thoughts that you know like one thing you said was like well my dad was just being a dad all dad spanked this is this was normal you know and so um just to get a, a better idea of like where where your mind's at like your thought process and how it evolved over time and mm -hmm. so um we're out of time today, but um, I, I want to definitely pick up and get a little bit deep 
paper next week about okay. like what some of the things you said, like what they mean. Um, mm -hmm. In the meantime, if you could, um, you know, I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework. Okay. Um, if you could for next week, just when you have time, dive a little bit deeper into your childhood, you know, think maybe there were other people that you saw, maybe, you know, sometimes when we don't think about things, they just get buried. Yeah. So if you could just little notes or however you want to write it. Um, so that way next week we could talk more about anything that maybe came up for you. And then as it's coming up, if anything comes up, feelings and emotions that go along with anything we talked about today or anything new that you think of. And then that way we can, um, yeah. you know, get a little bit deeper into, into some of that stuff. Is that something you think you would be willing to do? Yeah, I can do that. Awesome. Okay. Well then um, I'll see you next week. All right. All right.